Hello guys, today we are going to have a look at the cultivational practices of Kodumillu. Kodumillet. Kodumillet is otherwise called as Varuga and Arikelu. It belongs to the family Graminaceae. Its chromosome number is 40. It is a tet Introduction. Kodumillet is a highly drought resistant crop. It is the coarsest of all food grains. Kodumillet is also known as cow grass, rice grass. The native palspalum or Indian cow grass originates in tropical Africa and it is estimated to have been domesticated in India 3000 years ago. The grain is covered with a horny seed coat which should be removed before. In India, it has been grown in Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. It is cultivated over an area of 1.96 lakhs per hectare with total production of about 0.84 lakh tons and with productivity of 429 kg per hectare. Now let us have a look at the botany of Kodumillet. Kodumillet is a monocot. It is an annual grass that grows to a height of approximately 4 feet. It has an inflorescence that produces 4 to 6 racemes that are 4 to 9 centimeters long. Slender green leaves which grow about 20 to 40 centimeters in length. The seed it produces are very small and ellipsoid, approximately about 1.5 mm in breadth and 2 mm in length. They vary in color from being light brown to dark grey. Kudumillet is a shallow root system and it is ideal for intercropping. Scientific classification of Kudumillet. It belongs to the kingdom Plantae, Angiospermae division, group Monocots, order Poales, family Poaceae. Nutritional values of Kodo millet. It contains about 8.3% protein, 1.4% fat, 65.6% carbohydrate, 2.9% ash. The fiber content of the whole grain is very high. The phosphorus content in Kodo millet is lower than any other millet. Straw is very poor in quality and harmful to horses. Some of its species are used for pasture and forage to check soil erosion due to its binding capacity. The grain is recommended as a substitute for origin and distribution. Kodumillet is a very old crop. There is a mention of it in ancient literature of India. Arika is grown mostly in AP, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh. Arika is probably originated in Southeast Asia. There are a lot of varieties of Kodumillet. Some of them are as follows. Now let us have a look at the climate. Kodumillet is grown mostly in warm and dry climate. It is highly drought tolerant and therefore can be grown in areas where rainfall is scanty. It can thrive well in areas which receive only 40 to 50 centimeters of annual rainfall. Kodumillet is grown from gravelly and stony upland poor soils to loamy soils. Deep, loamy, fertile soils rich in organic matter are preferred for satisfactory growth. Well-drained soils with adequate moisture supply are required for uninterrupted growth of this crop. In spite of adverse conditions, the crop can struggle on even poor soils and may yield some quality of grain and straw. But it tries. Kodo millet is usually sown at the onset of monsoon. Sowing time of Arika is between June 15 to July 15 in Northern India. In South India, it is mostly grown as a rain-fed crop from September to December. In states like Madhya Pradesh and Chandigarh, last week of June to first week of July is for The cultivational practices of Kodo millet begins with the land preparation. The land should be prepared well before the onset of monsoon by ploughing it three to four times to get a good tilt which will enable it to retain enough moisture. With the onset of monsoon, 
Field should be harrowed or ploughed with a log plough or country plough followed by planking. Finally, the field should be levelled. Before taking up sowing, the seeds are treated with biofertilizers to avoid infection by fungus. The seeds are treated with Azospirillus brasilense, which is a nitrogen fixing bacterium, and Aspergillus avomurai 1, phosphate solubilizing fungus, at the rate of 25 grams. The seed rate and spacing of Kodo millet are as follows. The spacing adopted for this crop is 22.5 cm between rows and 10 cm between plant. Line sowing is beneficial as it facilitates intercultivation and weed management. The seed rate taken is 10 kg per hectare for line sowing, 15 kg per hectare for broadcasting. Depth of sowing is 3 to 